you know, this game just never ceases to amaze me. So as long as all of us have played, watched this game, seen trends come, seen trends go, things like that. What's happening this year in th- with three teams, including ours, is at the Steelers, is really an emphasis, I think, is being brought up between the marriage between player and coach. We've spoken about many times, don't fall in love with the player's name, fall in love with the player who fits the scheme. We've said that many times. We already know Justin Fields, and we're going to talk about this man here too. But look also, what's happening in Minnesota with Sam Darnold? Mm, mm. Hell, look what's happening in Green Bay with Malik Willis. Malik, right. Malik. This dude, I'm sorry, was a straight bum in, in Tennessee. But you're seeing that what happens with the organization, great coaching, an environment around. They're, they're playing to this man's strengths. He won them two games, though he's going to go right to the bench when Jordan Love comes back. Sam Darnold, they're going to J.J. McCarthy who? He's out there. He's tearing it up. And by the way, shout out to Brian Flores for having a hell of a defense this year. I've seen some of these Minnesota games, man. Awesome. Mm. So, as we know, I, I didn't want Justin Fields here because of his contract. I didn't think he was this good, but this marriage that he has with, with, with Tomlin and the environment and then with Arthur Smith and this system – Seems perfect, and they finally opened it up a little bit on 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 Sunday. So, Juan, what do you think about Justin Fields' progression? Is this now his job to lose? Russell Wilson being now called clipboard Russ, or do you <laughs> still need to see more from Justin? It's kind of yes to everything, <laughs> mm. um, in a sense. Um, I feel like it is his job, kind of his job to lose at, the, at this point. But I do want to see more. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, it, this last game, though, like some of the throws that he made in this last game and, and some mm. of the reads, mm. I was more impressed than I've um, than what I've seen. And you know, even in, in the first couple of games, yeah, you can see that. You know, even just hearing him um, talk, like his post game interviews, and, and when he kind of goes through what his reads are or where he should have threw the ball, like I mean, it's. There's a um, he has a, a deeper understanding of the game than I I think I initially gave him credit for, and mm-hmm. um, yeah he's he's very <laughs> very astute above the neck, uh, and he's making the play he's not trying to do too much and I think that that's what's uh, making him so much better now and, and he doesn't ha- I think he knows that he doesn't have to do too much play safe take chances when he needs to because it's not like he's not throwing it deep at all you know what I mean yeah. they're just picking the right time to do it he said going out there on the field I feel I'm at peace I, I, I think that speaks volumes of it because like you said he's not trying to be Superman like he had to be in Chicago I was just about to say that dude that hey, give you go ahead yeah, he he doesn't have to be the superhero anymore, right? He can just be one of the Avengers. You know what I'm saying? He's just one of them, right? He ain't got to be the only one, right? Because I don't know why, but they was not trying to build around that man. They gave him DJ Moore, but that that's the key. You know, now he can progress. He can take what the defense gives him. Rely on his running game. Make plays with his legs when he needs to. Play his game. Control the clock. Let the defense do the rest. Yeah. Sounds like a recipe for, for winning if I ever heard one. Is this is this his job? Are you letting him go one more game? Or are you like, one, you need to see more? Or are you saying, no, nah, I've seen enough? Well, we have to keep in mind that we've seen his abilities – in Chicago compared to Russ, he has the ultimate ability, which is the best ability, which is availability. Yep. He's been there day one. Mm-hmm. Since day one. Ready to go. Oh, oh, Russ, your calf hurts? I got it. My calf feels fine. Let me run these plays. <laughs> oh, you don't want to run with the first team today, Russ? That's cool. I got it. Hey, George, go deep like we used to do back in high school. Like, he's been there from day one, ready to go, quiet, just working, just 
getting a feel for the offense, learning the system, getting used to this new environment. And is Russ like, really hurt though? Was that? Is Russ really hurt? Is he like really hurt though? Yeah. Yeah. You think, think like so. legitimately hurt? Like like yeah. can't play hurt? It don't matter. I don't know if y'all remember about a month ago, I tweeted out, I said, um, Russ, why don't you go on and <laughs> rest up that calf <laughs> for as long as you need to? We trying to see something, yeah. right? Well, we done seen something. He can, hey, and, and I believe, dude, you and I talked about this a couple weeks ago. We never know, and well, we know, because we all in our 40s, some of us, we getting, when we getting closer to the 50s, you never know when your body don't recover like it used to. And that happened, dude, that stuff happens overnight. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's what I think was really going on with, with Russ. I think that calf <laughs> ain't recovering like it used to. I think if they were 0-2, I think Russ would have been out there this week. I think, you know, I, I think the the luxury of the Steers keep on winning allowed Russell Wilson and allowed Coach Tomlin to keep him on the bench to see what we have, you know, in in – in um in fields because if we're gonna if we're picking between these two quarterbacks the four of us i know just because it makes football sense we would rather see field succeed because he could be here long term right he's definitely more dynamic as this offensive line is still kind of figuring itself out i still i'm like you with you one i want to see more after last week i don't need to see much more what I want to see more is, and I don't know if it's more of, his, of Justin Fields' ability as it is Arthur Smith allowing him to do it. Now, granted, they have a formula, and the formula is working. We don't spread the field or run the hurry up and such. And there were still plays that would have counted that were still on penalty. So I'm seeing this with Justin Fields. And, and last week at Denver, he missed a couple wide-ass open receivers. But this week, he didn't. This is coaching. This is Arthur Smith. So I'm going to think he still needs to keep playing. He can't be pulled the first time he has a bad game. But I think this is really his job now to lose throughout the year. And you know what? We had a questionable quarterback room coming into 2024 that I now think with Justin Fields playing the way he's playing and someone like Russ, Russell Wilson as your backup, might be one of the best quarterback rooms in the NFL. Well, I, I could I could tell you this. That's what Bill Belichick said. Is that right? Okay. That's yeah. what Bill Belichick said. Bill Belichick said everybody worry about the Steelers quarterback room. They've had the best room in the NFL. I don't know about y'all, but I'm pretty sure that that Mr. Belichick know a little bit about you know quarterback rooms and what they supposed to look like. I'm just gonna go out the limb and say that Mr. Belichick got a little knowledge. Probably drinking no things like Tyrion Lannister, you know. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> to see what he's what he's going to bring to the table, mm. um, you know. But it's it's I'm <clears throat> trying to temper my expectations because he hasn't gotten any action yet. You know what I mean? This is going to be his first yep. game action. Period. No preseason, whatever. You know what I mean? So, um, like I said, I'm going to try to temper expectations. Just hope he can come in, and get a few snaps. You know, maybe get a catch or two. Yeah. Make a play here. You know, nothing doesn't he doesn't have to do anything spectacular, you know, bust off a 70 yard, you know, <laughs> run after catch or anything like that. But if he can pick up a first down or two, you know, keep the chains yeah. moving, I think that'll be a successful day for him. 